Response code. So the Screaming Frog response codes report is super useful for SEO, just generally as a web developer to find sort of internal problems. So with response codes, we can look at different things like uh, which files are blocked by a robots.txt, which files have no response, which ones are redirecting, which ones have errors. Um, and we can take a look at each of these and actually track down the source of them. So by default, we get all of our URLs and the status code assigned to them. And this isn't particularly useful. It becomes useful when we now set a filter. So let's take a filter and look at redirects. So we know that all the URLs that appear here based on the filter are redirecting to other places. So common here is to see redirects from for social media type stuff, maybe some external websites, which we don't have a lot of control over um, or have a lot of benefit in correcting, to be honest. So what we might want to do here is apply a search filter for our domain and now we're looking only at URLs on our domain which redirect so here's a good example we have a, a ticket purchase URL and we can see that it's redirecting somewhere else and as we scroll over we can tell where it's redirecting to so that's great now we have a list of um, various different URLs on our website which are redirecting and now to really track back and find out you know who's linking to them or why they're being linked to we're going to use this detail pane so let's look at the sponsors page for example so on the sponsors page um, we know that the it is is redirecting elsewhere so what we want to do is look at in links so he, this will show us all the different URLs which link to this particular page so what we can do is basically copy this URL by right clicking and copying the from URL paste it in our browser and we can identify where exactly that link is on that page which is pointing to the old URL and we could update it. So a lot of times what you're going to see in here maybe when you launch a new site is that the navigation maybe a navigation you know item is off so you may see a you know a ton of different um, you know links that appear to be you know redirecting and you just got to update that um, the same would apply if you're going to look for uh, those that have like uh, client errors for example so now we have the error filter applied we're still looking at just urls on our website and we can see that we're linking to some different pages that are you know turning 404 errors and again the same thing we could click on any one of these go to in links and find out you know what pages are linking to it and hopefully you know be able to make corrections to it as a result of that so um, those are really the main use for the different reports um, you know again you can look at robots.txt if you're seeing a bunch of files that shouldn't be blocked here in this particular example we don't have any but you know you may want to con consider updating robots.txt to not be so um, restrictive um, and you, know, you have various um, other types of errors there as well. So again, this is just a great report to be able to find out if you have errors, internal linking errors, and to track them down and correct them.